Hey, what's up? This is Václav. During past couple of weeks, I've gotten a couple of cameras for testing. I always try to pick cameras that are interesting, that are unique in some respect. And I will not only test the camera image, but I will show you how to integrate it to Home Assistant. Today, I've got an interesting one. It's uh, Anke NC400. And what is interesting about her? It's the true full color night chroma vision. I've earlier compared the new railing cameras with my old Hick vision, and I have noticed that they switched to a black and white image quite a bit earlier than the old Hick vision. But I wasn't sure if this is a big deal. Uh, the picture was okay, not in color, but perhaps more detailed. But Anke is quite confident that this is a big thing, so I started to wonder. What's the fuss about it? So, let's find out. So, here it is. The camera came in a quite a small box. Inside, there are the common accessories. Manuals, stickers, mounting template and cables. And then, there's the camera in a plastic wrap. I think it's looking quite well. Now I mounted her to an MDF panel that I fixed next to my Hikvision camera. So it would make it easy to change them and I could see comparable image. The installation was quite smooth. The way Anke cameras work is you have to download the SADP tool to initialize them, to set up the initial password. And then I could connect to it from a web browser to configure it. I found it quite interesting that the SADP tool actually downloads from a Hikvision website. Like, never mind. Back in the browser, I just created a user that I will use for the RTSP connection from Home Assistant. Because this is uh, all I want to do. So I'm done here. I could also use the browser to show the camera image. For that, I had to download the browser add-on, otherwise it was just showing a gray rectangle. On my 4K monitor though, I had some issues with aligning the image inside a window. It worked fine on my HD monitor though. But I'm not really going to use it from the web browser, so let's not worry about that. So let's add it to Home Assistant. It doesn't have an, an integration that I could simply add from the application interface, but the manual contains the RTSP address. So I took it from there, added it to config.yaml, restarted it, and it worked on the first attempt. So it was quite smooth. Now let's see the image. On the left, this is my old Hikvision camera, and on the right, this is the new Anke NC400 we're comparing with. On the bottom, there are the two railing cameras, but uh, they do not show the same image, so this is not really a fair comparison. Right from the bat, it looks alright. It's uh, maybe a bit sharper than the old Hikvision, but I didn't really make any detailed testing during the day, since this is not what we are after. We want to look at its uh, low light performance, so let's go for it. I will start recording about an hour before the sunset and keep it up until it's completely dark. And I will speed up the time and see what happens. It was really rainy, cloudy day and the sun sets at uh, 18.05. At the time, all cameras were still doing fine. So let's continue. As expected, the reeling cameras switched to black and white first at around 6.20, that is 15 minutes after the sunset. The Hikvision kept up until half past six, but the Anke kept going on all the time. Wow, I was really hoping that the Hikvision would be a stronger opponent. All right, so it's in color. It didn't switch to black and white. I can probably configure the Hikvision the same way, but does it really actually show more information? I go outside to check it out. If I look at the red vest on the color night vision, I can really see the logo on the shoulder, unlike the Hick vision. And looking at the bricks and the grass, it's really impressive. Let me turn on the light. 
This should switch the HIC vision to color mode as well, and let's see if there is a difference in quality. Wow, to be honest, I was quite surprised. I was quite pessimistic. I thought it was just a marketing label they put on, but it actually works, and you could see it for yourself. So I must say, I will definitely keep it, and I can honestly recommend it to you as well. Now, if you want to grab one for yourself, the link is in the description. They provide 25% discount. I'm afraid it's only available uh, until the March 21st, but uh, they told me that the discount should be available permanently for all the purchases from their website even after that. So that's it for today, and I'll catch you up on the next one. Bye.